My name is Stacy Pashi. I am the director of Benzie Shores District Library in Frankfort, Michigan. We are a public library serving a small rural population in Northwest Lower Michigan. We are a tourist town as well. We are on the southern tip of the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. We actually received a bequest from a gentleman who wanted something to honor his late wife, who uh, was a master organist and she had this love of music and she was local. She taught piano to several kids in the community. So uh, we got the money for a music theme project for a library. When I first saw the the percussion play instruments, it just it just clicked that we need an outdoor space. We need these instruments. We chose the flowers because it just seemed like the natural choice for a garden. Um, and honestly, they just, they look really cool. Uh, the variety in the color, the shape, the shape and the size, um, they, they're great. And we started with just the six um, bells and, um, ended up getting more because we liked him so much. In particular, the family of the deceased, she had started a handbell choir at one of the churches here, and they were most impressed with how the bells are actually, I mean, they are bells, they are chimes. It's not, you, you know, some toys, you just hit it and it makes a sound. These carry and um, they're beautiful, they're absolutely beautiful. The other instruments we have are the sunflower drum, um, the harmony bells and the liberty bells, and they're, the liberty bells are great because you have the um, the variety in tone, but it doesn't take up as much space. Um, so it's it's nestled kind of in a little corner of of the garden adjacent to the 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 drum. So we chose to make it a pollinator garden, uh, more so out of the um, theming. It was a harmony garden. We wanted it in harmony with the community and that community also encompassed all of our natural creatures here too. We worked with a local landscape architect who specializes in native plants. And she's done a lot of work within the city too. So um, it not only does it, does it mesh well with the nature around us, it meshed with the kind of the landscape of the city already. We're a nature lover's town. It's hard in a small town, even a tourist town, or I should say especially in a tourist town, for a family to find places, just public spaces to go that don't cost any money. And that's really what the library is all about. So this this garden was an extension to a 2022 expansion project that we did where we built a whole new children's area which incorporates a lot of um, early literacy installations where kids can just play and be. Um, and uh, it, it was a natural extension of that project where just it's in one more place where a family can go or anyone can go really. The bells are all intergenerational. They're, they're absolutely great. Hey, Carlos, can you sing with it? Can you sing us a song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> shy. I can't really say. Oh. Well, the median age in Frankfurt is 62. We have a lot of grandparents that bring their grandchildren, and it's something they can all enjoy together. And uh, that's one beautiful thing. The other uh, amazing impact that the garden has had for the community is the street presence. We're right on Main Street. Um, and Main Street in that very, very traditional sense of all of our stores and everything is on Main Street. We're across from the post office. We're like a little Richard Scary busy town. Um, and uh, before the library just kind of, it's a brick building. Uh, it was initially built in the 60s. It was expanded once in the 90s and then expanded again in 2020. Um, but it just kind of looked like a boring dentist office. And since the expansion and ex since we put in the garden, people actually see there's a library here now. 
uh, we're not hidden where we've come out from the trees and it's this it's this it's beckoning people to come play at the library so it's it's impacted the library and that we've had more people who've been here for years that are coming in and getting library cards and exploring everything that we have to offer it's been great <laughs>